Artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, natural language processing. These words are making headlines every single day, more and more. And not just for scientific or research purposes, but real business applications. We've interviewed a whole panel of AI experts, business leaders, CEOs, and entrepreneurs who are applying AI in their business today. In this video, we wanted to simply give you a taste of it. We started by asking them all one very simple question. Explain what is AI? If I was trying to explain it to my grandmother, I'd probably just say it's an enhanced way to automate things. Um, that's about as simple as I could probably make it. I would say that, that AI is making machines do smart things and being able to show them or teach them ways to do smart things. Well, if I was going to describe it to my mother or, or someone from an uh, earlier generation, it would be to, to try to map it to something they're already familiar with, like an assistant. That's why we hear about Google Assistants and Alexa as an assistant, Siri as an assistant. You know, real case is probably something that is um, that we're using every day. Google Maps, when you ask it for the location of the local movie theater, is basically doing sort of AI work. Particularly since you didn't type in the exact name of that particular movie theater, Google's AI had to say, well, that thing that you wrote is, I'm predicting that it is this particular movie theater, and so I'm gonna give you that address. All sorts of document processing type of applications, whether that's um, contract analysis, where you can automatically you know, read a contract, a legal document, and determine what kind of contract it is, um, you know, understand what kind of issues are in the contract. I mean, talking to my grandparents, you know, say, hey, look, this is something, it's another technology that's gonna make your life easier by thinking a little bit deeper for you, right? You know, when she sits down at the computer uh, and gets on Pinterest for recipes, you know, she's getting recipes that she likes and she's not having to spend hours and hours digging through, you know, where she used to go to the library and go look for a cookbook and flip through pages to entrees and say, I wanna cook a chicken entree. And Pinterest is presenting uh, a lot of different recipes that, you know, are probable uh, for her to like, you know, that's that's exactly how it is. And that's today, we, we're all awash in data and whether you're a company, a government or a person, and this, this idea of having tools like AI and machine learning that can help me just see every day, what should I be paying attention to? What can I safely ignore? And what action should I take? Or could I have an agent that, rep that represents my values that's actually taking some kind of action without me even needing to be aware of it? Right, like I'm making sure that I don't uh, overdraft my my checking account, or um, you know, don't miss my my niece's birthday. Little things like that are the incremental steps we can take with this technology that really do add a lot of value to our lives and do automate things that humans aren't necessarily good at. So in that sense, it really is augmenting us and and uh, making us better and and giving us more fulfilling, uh, uh, you know. Uh, enjoyable lives. This was just a taste. Stay tuned as we share the full deep dive interviews we had with each one of our panel of experts and our upcoming episodes focused on specific topics that will transform the way you think about artificial intelligence. All this on Uptech Report's new series on AI.